Overall, solid. Did Dragon did Quest Zach game. ever tell you my idea? Because he recorded the conversation without telling me, by the way. But did he ever tell you my <laughs> idea for for the remake of of the Dragon Quest trilogy? Never mentioned it afterwards. Oh, uh, no, not yet. Oh, man. Sack, bro. I could feel Sack's boner from all the way here, bro. <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not even in the Northeast and I felt it, bro. So I, I, went, in, I went into this like orgasmic trance one night when I'm talking to Sack because he has a hot voice. And we were talking about how they could make like Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 remake, right? And, re and you remake it as a trilogy, but in one game, you know? So like, you, oh. you know, like, like, like Dragon Quest trilogy. Right, or the Erdrick saga. There you go, the saga of Erdrick, right? They can call it that. And um I was super creative and I was talking about how like they could um obviously you make it look like eleven, you know, with the nice big 3D world, but mm -hmm. you instill mechanics from other games. Cause you can't just remake Dragon Quest One. Like and really I took inspiration from a Final Fantasy Seven remake. You can't just remake Dragon Quest One, it's already been remade a bunch of times. You have to make it different. So each Dragon Quest game remade would have a different kind of mechanic from a previous game for example in dragon quest one it's the same game but you're adding new stuff you're adding new bosses new cutscenes same story you're still the descendant of Erdrick trying to save the kingdom from the dragon lord but you have now monster catching so it's like dragon quest one but like final fantasy 7 remake like it's the same game same story but like with an expanded um you know what i mean you know like like, like it's, a, it's a it's an actual remake like it's an actual like we're telling the same story again from the ground up. And then for three, you keep it the same. Then for two, you have like combo moves with you and your cousins, like with Chrono Trigger. So you have combo oh, moves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah, that'd be awesome. Right, but you that's don't have Monster yeah, Catching. Like Monster that. Catching should only be for Dragon Quest 1. And I thought it would be cool if they had like in between game story arcs. Like, um, I'm just going to tell them, Sack. Go ahead. And, and you have to remind me if, if I. If I forgot something, but like it would be awesome if they had like an extra quest. And the re I got this idea from the Final Fantasy IV uh, After Years thing they did, where like, oh yeah, we find out what happened to Erdrick, and like I came up with this crazy story where Erdrick, you know, when Erdrick saves the world at the end of <clears throat> at the end of, uh, of of three. Spoiler for those who haven't played it, sorry, but he disappears, and the idea could be that he sort of has children. Um, and he hides away somewhere, but then, like, you know, at some point in the future, he leaves, uh, Aleph Guard, because he senses there's evil. He senses that even though he killed Zoma, there's still evil in the world. And what happens is, he ends up going to Torland, and he ends up eventually getting to Malroth. And he actually fights Malroth. This would take place between 3 and 1, and him and Malroth have this awesome battle where they both almost die. Uh, but Erdrick actually dies, but before he dies, he cuts off one of uh, Malroth's eyes, which is why the Eye of Malroth is an item in the game. Oh, and like, awesome. yeah, I came up with all this, all these ideas of how they could like make all the games even more tied together. So we find out that Erdrick, even though he saved the world from Zoma, he was a lot older at this point. He was not as, during the fight with Malroth, not as good of a fighter. And he also left to go fight him alone did not bring his crew with him so he died but he injures Malroth enough to where Malroth cannot manifest in, in, in a physical form and then you have Hargan coming along and kind of you know eventually like we found out in two so we had all these crazy ideas and I would love it if they did like a story where the hero from one you actually play him going and leaving Alephgar like what Erdrick did and founding the kingdoms of like Moonbrook and Mydenhall and you kind of have to build up the towns and fight like the monsters and eventually you fight like a new made up boss or whatever like maybe one of Zoma's um you know like one of his followers you know what I mean stuff yeah. like that like they could do all dude they could remake this trilogy and make it like even better bro even nice. more better. I wish they would do it but I don't have enough clout with Square Enix to do stuff like that alright <laughs> that, that, that honestly I, I want this now. I know, that's what Zach said, bro. This is, this is so much better than what I came up with earlier in the, in the I've been stream. Dude, I've been thinking about this for a long time because as Ryan and Zach will tell you, I'm like a, I'm like very fascinated by early Dragon Quest lore, like one, two, and three. And I love like Rubis and like the God, you know, all this shit. And right. I feel like 
They could incorporate Rubus. They could even have a thing where when you're when Erdrick goes to fight Zoma, I'm sorry, when he goes to fight Malroth. And remember, he's sensing evil. He can't sleep at night. He wakes up like I thought I. I he's like I thought I got rid of all the evil, but you didn't because there's gonna be more evil. Like what the dragon says in 11, which I'm not gonna spoil about how evil will always come back. So he goes off in the middle of the night and he doesn't want to bring anybody along with him, you know, whatever. And then Rubus appears to him and says, "Don't do it." You're not gonna win this fight. And he's like, no, I have to do what I gotta do. And he goes up there and fuck, and him and Malroth have this awesome fight. And like I said, Malroth does not die. He beats Erdrick, but Erdrick cuts off one of his eyes. And then again, like in the game, in, in Dragon Quest II, you get the eye of Malroth. And they could do a thing where when you actually go fight Hargan, you use the eye and then Hargan has the other eye. And that's what triggers the re-manifestation of Malroth. And then we find out that he's the actual, like, demonic being that Zoma was worshipping. So you can make it all kind of tie in like that. You know, kind of, you know, same thing with, like, the Dragon Queen. Like, how the Dragon Queen gave birth to the egg that made the Dragon Lord. It could even be a situation where the egg ends up in the in the underworld, you know, in Alephgard. And the, the people who, uh, there were people who, who, like, were Zoma's followers who weren't monsters. Maybe they sort of raised the Dragon Lord with these evil sort of like, you know, like, you know, they raised him to be evil. He wasn't supposed to be evil, but they raised him to be evil. And you have like a, a an explanation of why he's evil. You know what I mean? Like, why he's a prick. Yeah. Anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, that All of this sounds way better than the idea I had earlier because uh, I, I, I had a really crappy idea. What was your idea? Like uh, well, uh, you call it out when you hear it, but uh, it was uh, essentially it was. I was saying like if we got a. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You're, you're hilarious. <laughs> but uh, it was essentially a, a Dragon Quest three remake, but uh, the tutorial uh, would be Dragon Quest one and two, and like Dragon Quest one would be essentially like teaching you how to like how combat works. Wait a minute, Steve. Wait, wait, hold on. So you want like a you want like a 35 hour tutorial, bro? No, no, it would be just... What is this, calculus? Down. It would just be a shortened down, like, interpretation, and then, like, uh, like, it wouldn't be, like, the full game. It would just be, like, certain parts, and then, like, the final boss would be, like, the first boss, like, a tutorial boss, and then two would be, like, here's how party members work, and all that, and then it would jump into three. So, again, my idea is complete garbage, especially compared to, like, what you just said. I'm like, I want what you just came up with now. Nah, dude, with my story, you would have to, like, you would have to remake the game from the ground up. And like I said, oh, keep, yeah. the story, keep the story the same. I'm not saying to change any story elements, but you could add to the story. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You could add things. Yeah. Like, if you if you add monster catching to the first game, what you're doing now is you're having an option where you can have a party if you want to. You can play it old school by yourself. Now, yeah. what I would do is if you have a party of monsters... What, what, what I would do if I was programming the game is I would make it so that as you're playing the game, the field monsters, the more you catch, actually become harder to kill. So in other words, you scale the difficulty. So if you want to play the game by yourself with no monsters, you can do that old school Dragon Warrior 1 style. But if you catch monsters, then everybody else gets stronger as you level up. So it's st you still grind and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong if you want to. But mm -hmm. I feel like it would make the game too easy if you have like an army of like, you know, if you have like... You know, let's say you have three party members total. It's you and three monsters. You could have you, um, I don't know, Metal Slime, uh, Scorpion, and a Wolfman. You know, then the final boss would be a little bit harder. Maybe you add, like, you, you can put an algorithm in the game where, like, they calculate what your monster levels are, and they add, like, a 1,000 HP, or maybe not a 1,000, but you know what I'm saying. Something like that, you know, to where it gives you the option to play in the game how you mm -hmm. want to play it. I mean, there's a lot that's of a, ideas you could do. You know what I mean? That's so, a really course, good idea. You could add cutscenes to the game, fucking, uh, you know, when you go fight the Axe Knight, um, all kinds of stuff, bro. There's all kinds of stuff you could do. Yeah, you would know? you still incorporate the, um, quote-unquote, bad endings as well, like the, uh... The, the bad evil... ending? Oh, you mean with Dragon yeah. Lord? Yeah. Well, I would, I would have it different. If you say yes to the Dragon Lord on the screen in blood, it says you're stupid. So, and that's what I would do. That would be my bad ending, bro. I don't yeah. know if I would do that, bro, because honestly, that's like an antiquated idea. You know, I like it, but it's like an antiquated idea. Yeah, because it doesn't but really like, do much of anything else other than you are evil now. 
Can you imagine if you catch like a red dragon, bro, or an armored knight, and you go against Dragon Lord? That'd be a, a super epic battle, bro. You oh know? yeah. Oh yeah. I but agree. it wouldn't be that long. Like I still, if I was doing it, I still wouldn't make Dragon Quest one like forty hours. I wouldn't do that. I would make mm. it like a clean, you know, maybe twenty hours. You know, it would 25. not be that long of a game. And with three, yeah. you don't even have to do anything with three because three is already perfect the way it is. Just add the cutscenes, make it 3D, and you're good. I don't think there's anything you can add to three to make it better. I think three, yeah. maybe one more class system if you want, just to be, you know, you know what I mean, something like that. But I think three is a perfect game, and I've said that for years, especially the SNES remake. Is I think Dragon Warrior three is a perfect video game. What nice. would you say about possibly change uh, having uh, the ability to pick a male or female hero for Dragon Quest One? Bro, are you trying to get me canceled? Of course you can do that. Try and get me canceled? What? No, because well, no, well, you can't well, do no, that. Just... No, no, you can't because it has to be a male because you and the princess go make babies. I mean, no, we, I mean, uh, they don't have to make babies. They have to. Yes, they do. They have to. Oh yeah, you are right. <laughs> Otherwise, well, I mean, it would never happen. Well, that's true, but like, I mean, yeah, th there's a lot of games where it's just like, ass, whatever, you know? Because like, it, like, you can be a female in uh, Dragon Quest Three, but I guess okay. they don't really okay. say who okay. he gets with. So, well, that is, you're right, and that's a good point. Maybe if you pick female, then the um, the princess is a prince who gets captured instead. You yeah. flip it. Yeah, because yeah, you can't. Work. And, and I'm, I have nothing against a lesbian relationship. It's just that you have to have male and female because you have to have babies. You know what I'm saying? You have to, because the bloodline, yeah. it has to, you can't adopt. It has to be, and I, I don't think the Dragon Quest world has test tube babies, bro. So you got to do it that way. Um, yeah, <laughs> well, also, well, I mean, in 11, I, there's the whole, like, choosing who you want to be with. And then there's, like, the whole, It's like, very ambiguous, though. It's very know. vague. Yeah. You know what you could do part. also? Is if you beat all three games, you unlock, like, a fourth secret, like, bonus, like, non-canon story. Where you can play as, like, everybody. Like, it's, it's, er, it, it, you make a party of Erdrick. The three cousins from two, and then the guy from the first game. So it's like five party members. That could also be a cool idea, but it, it would be oh. non-canon. It would be like you challenge like the Zenithian god or something like that. You know what I mean? Something yeah, like, like that. Yeah, like they all meet in like a time vortex thing. Or something whatever. like yes, yeah. You put the, you can even put the toggles. Like you can even. Oh have yeah, the toggles. toggles dude, that'd be a good tie-in. That's what I'm saying. That's, that, that, that dude, it's come on. These games ain't that hard, bro. Give me give me Yuji Hori's phone number, bro. I'll call him up right now. <laughs> How do we right. know you aren't Yuji Hori? Because I'm not Japanese. That is true. That's it. And because when Dragon Quest came out, I was what? Came out what? Eighty six? Yeah, eighty six. I was two, so forget it. <laughs> Ryan was like four or eight. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I was five. There you go. I was somewhere in that range. Yeah.